Hi, and welcome to Urijana 120. I am Jeff Cliff, and this is a short series of videos of the 120 most important things that I learned while obtaining my degree. Um, today, we're going to talk about reading. Uh, reading is something that you think would be easy. If you're coming into university, you've probably been doing it for at least 14 years. Uh, you've, been, you've probably read the dictionary in at least one language, uh, if you're anything like me anyway. Um, so how, how could it be improved? What could you do? What could you possibly do to make reading better? I mean, you know your stuff, right? Um, until you open up a journal, at, like say the uh, spring, summer 1996 uh, issue of Social Text, or the Communications of the Association of Computing Machinery, uh, or anything of the sort, you're going to start reading the real research that's happening, either now or in the past, you'll come across some things that you have no idea what they're talking about. High school, in some sense, uh, spoon feeds you a little bit in terms of the words that you're likely to encounter. Uh, if you're supposed to learn new words, they'll probably be in some kind of a context where you're primed to know that you're looking to learn new words. And the answers of what those words mean won't necessarily be very difficult to find. Uh, in the scientific world, uh, and, and outside of high school, sometimes you're just not that lucky. The most important thing to know is to not get discouraged. Uh, you're, you're just going to come across things that the author thinks that you're going to know about, and sometimes you're not going to know it. This happens. It seems to be becoming worse with time as the internet facilitates larger and larger in-groups to be insular uh, and to form and to sustain with time. Uh, but again, don't get discouraged. Uh, this is something that every one of us has to deal with to some extent. This, the, or at least one way to deal with this, uh, instead of becoming discouraged, is to, when you don't understand a text, to go through and mark the words that you don't understand down, maybe on a piece of paper or on a file on your computer, uh, and come back later and look at your list of words and phrases and whatever it is that you're, you're confused about and look up and find the, the meaning or the, 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 the definition of those terms or words or phrases and then come back to the book and then try again to read it and try again to understand with your new knowledge of and new background uh, what the author was talking about and try to make sense of it. Or don't come back at all uh, and just pick up the language as you read uh, either way. It can be helpful to learn language, even if you don't come back to a work, uh, so that in the future, if someone else uses that language, or uses that term, or, or uses that phrase, you'll at least have seen it before, you'll know at least what it means, so you don't get tripped over it twice. It's really that simple. Uh, however, you may not have been told to do this. So now you don't have to figure this out on your own. You can look at the word, realize you don't know what it means, note it down, and go from there. As far as finding another source to understand what the word or phrase actually means, Google is actually not a bad source. Same with DuckDuckGo. It usually you can get, out of the first 10 response or results, a, a fair idea of what exactly the word is supposed to represent. It's not the only source, but it's a good one. Bonus, uh, if you make a mention in whatever it is you note down uh, this word on, where you found the word, sometimes that can be helpful. If it takes you five years to find the definition of a word, you'll probably forget exactly why you were looking up the definition of that word to begin with. It just happens. That's okay. It can be helpful to note down where you found that word, but strictly speaking, it's not as important as noting the word down in the first place. It may be also worth taking pause at this point and noticing that something as simple as reading is improved by doing this. Your ability to understand text and to deal with complicated texts and to be capable of reading complicated things is, is markedly improved when you do this. So it may be worth looking for other ways to do better by using simple tools such as a pencil, a paper, or maybe a computer to make even things as trivial as reading better, more adapted to your needs, and to make you more efficient with them. Again, this was Eurijana 120, the fourth video. I uh, 
hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them, and I will uh, address them in whatever thread you post them if I find them. Thank you for watching.